Hey, welcome Gemini to the channel. It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. How's it going? So guys, I'm doing a bonus read for you for December 2019th, and I'm gonna be using the Good Tarot deck to do this reading for you. And the spread I've chosen for this bonus read is the Key to Self-Discovery Tarot card spread. Um, and this is gonna be an eight card um, spread, and it's just going to look at ways that you can unlock yourself for your highest potential. So I hope you enjoy and I hope it resonates and I do look forward to your comments guys and I really appreciate all your likes and shares and uh, tapping the subscribe button. So thanks so much and again just welcome here. So um, the first card we're going to look at is it's going to it's going to talk about what makes you unique and just keep in mind guys this is a general read so just that's important to know all right so what makes you unique let me do a deck cut and we'll pull a card here so i pulled the five of fire and i'm kind of getting an interesting vibe here it's like you guys really sort of um you really like being in the thick of things, you know, where some people might avoid a challenging or difficult um, situation. Like you guys really sort of, you, you're almost fed from that. Um, you like really intense situations. Well, maybe it's not so much for all of you liking them, but you don't shrink from them. Um, and you can, you're able to see like troubleshoot things. You've got the five of fire here, which is generally, it's showing, it means like not jumping in at that present moment. It's not the best timing, but you just don't hesitate when things might not be at their most optimum. Um, you adore a challenge. So I really think that's a cool card to start off with. Um, so the second card is going to look at how to unlock your magical powers. So you've got the nine of fire. So even if you do really enjoy a challenge, there is a part of you that will recognize that when it's time to take that break and sort of stand and let everything else catch up to you because I'm seeing a real fierce energy here for you guys. Um, almost like sort of like a, a warrior energy and you know, um, kind of like if you ever watched um, Vikings or uh, what's that movie with Mel Gibson, Braveheart, you know, people on the front lines, they're just charging in and they're not afraid. That's definitely your energy here. But with the nine of fire, um, you can unlock the magic around you by waiting and observing what's happening. So you're not afraid to come in like definitely full bore, but you, you can start things and then wait for everything to swirl around you. And that is the magic around you, is just being able to see what influence you're having on the vibrations around you and picking up on them and being able to interpret them really, really well. Um, so take that pause, you guys. Um, like start things, you know, finish them, get in there, get busy, like, you know. But wait a minute and just sort of see what's going on around you and you'll see things i think you're going to have this ability for things to almost slow down so you can interpret sort of like the matrix you know um so you definitely have that ability so just take a pause like sometimes if you're going really quickly take one minute and listen okay so let's see how we can unlock your creativity here so we've got the nine of air whoops so you've got two nines here in your reading so far. So that's angel number nine, nine. So you can check that out after the reading. So the nine of air, how to unlock your creativity. It's almost to be at this point of, you know how they see that the geniuses, their brains are always running, right? So it's like when you push yourself, like, and I'm seeing that you guys are really pushing yourself very hard. Um, in this energy right now in the last half the last bit of 2019 and it's like when you think that you can't do anything else that's when the creativity is going to come in that brilliant idea is going to come in so don't let it frustrate you you know because the overthinking and not really getting anywhere the repetitive thinking 
it can get really frustrating and, and like frazzle you, but like be in control of that and, and turn it into a study. Like you can take like post-it notes and write your thoughts down and pop them up on the wall until they all start to make sense. I actually used to work with somebody that did that and they were a very creative person. So it was really helpful. So try that technique out and it'll help to um, get your thoughts to, to swim together. So let's see how we can unlock your compassion. So the next card I have for you is the five of earth. So realizing that not everybody's on the same wavelength as you, and now you have um, two nines and two fives. So you definitely have the angels talking to you through these cards right now. So realizing that, and I got the phrase here, like the sun doesn't rotate around you, unfortunately. There are other people with different ideas. Um, and I see that sometimes um, that's not always taken into consideration and that's fine. I mean, that's okay. But just recognizing that there are other people around you with different circumstances and um, not everybody has the same like aspects or outlook on life as you and and taking that pause again here with the nine of fire it, you know sort of put yourself in other people's shoes is what i'm getting here um and just realizing that people they're on their paths and sometimes it's it's not their own choosing so again taking a pause and i'm seeing that you guys are really just so busy rushing ahead that it's like the world is is trying to catch up to you. So there's some people that just they're not even on your level, but that's okay. People have to be on different levels and just being able to recognize that you guys. So let's see with the fifth card how to unlock prosperity. So we've got the eight of water. So you're ready to move on. You're ready to move on. But I think that you're still sort of overlooking something. Um, you're standing there waiting for something and you've definitely got some ships coming in. So your prosperity is in something that you're already doing. Um, but again, like practice that pause, you guys. You know, you do have the nine of fire, which is the nine of wands. And if you're familiar with tarot, that's generally a soldier walking forward with, and he's got a bunch of wands behind him. And in some cards, he's taking a knee or he's just kind of standing there going, Whew. So, um, you, yeah, it's like this energy, you're just pushing this energy ahead of you and it's sort of creating a vacuum behind you and you have to stop and let everything catch up to you and again I'm just seeing like energy swirling around you and your prosperity is already there I think maybe you're going too fast to recognize it and that I think that could be happening in many facets of your life right now because you're you like your eye is on the brass ring <clears throat> excuse me and like that's amazing but you could be missing out on things. So just take another pause here and don't move on from, from something quite yet because there's something still in it for you. That's why you're still magnetized to it. If you've been wondering why you can't quite let a job go or a situation go, business partner, whatever sort of effort around money that you can't quite release yet, there's a reason. So just stand there and wait for it to catch up to you. So let's see how we can unlock your peace of mind. And we've got the king of water and the king of water is really calm flowing beautiful energy so again he's like very go with the flow and creative and and he listens to the heartbeat of the ocean you know and the ocean has a really steady flow unless it's in storm um and i get the feeling that you guys are sort of constantly on the brink of a storm so just sort of calm it down um and your peace of mind could be like maybe get to the water and observe it and listen to it or if you can't get close to water listen to it like you can download a track off of YouTube or whatever have a bath do something in water um, this is really going to help you slow down and relax and it'll help all these ideas that you're igniting it'll help them gel within you so really interesting card I think some of you might genuinely need a spa day um, so let's see the next card is when are you the happiest and that's the two of air so it's like when you're mixing things up you you really like the action you know you like to be with a, a high vibrational 
um, magnitude of people and stirring the pot almost, you know, and, and getting things like really going and, and that's great. So just don't let yourself stagnate. And, and that's what I'm seeing here with the Eight of Cups, but being able to recognize stagnation and boredom um, are completely different and can really help you recognize your oppor opportunities instead of letting them go too quickly. So just pay attention to the cues here, you guys. And that's where um, the water will come in to calm you down, like have a hot tub, like go for a swim, have a nice bath, you know, even for some of you sauna. Um, so let's look at your last card and it's going to look at your hidden potential. It's going to come through alone time because we do have the hermit card. So it's if you're not already valuing your alone time and maybe doing some meditation or walking outside by yourself, it's time to start carving that out for you because it can bring some of the biggest answers that you're seeking and likely in um, like collaborative settings and that's not always good for your own energy it can get you sparked up and amped up and the creative juice is flowing but you need time to listen also and that's in solitude so your hidden potential it will be revealed to you when you take time in silence. So I'm, I'm seeing a real overall tone here is to let the world catch up to you guys because your energy is just on a high right now, a really high spike, peak energy. And, and I think you have to let the rest of the playing field catch up to you guys. So anyway, I hope this was kind of a cool reading for you. And once again, thank you so much for tuning in guys and have a great day ahead. Okay, take care, bye.